today we're going to be talking about Joe Montana. Thank you, Joe. Joe right. Montana. Joe Montana is phenomenal. Uh, he, you never know really who he's, whose side he's on. He's, he's definitely on his own side. And uh, he, he puts himself in the headlines at least once a year. And he does it in very interesting ways, often concerning the 49ers. The most recent example, uh, in the lead up to the Super Bowl, this you know media row, he was there. And someone asked him about Trey Lance. And he goes, oh, no. I talked to some of the players, and he's not ready. And uh, they should keep Jimmy Garoppolo or, or you know, find <laughs> – until they until they can actually get someone who can replace Jimmy, they should keep Jimmy. That's what he said. And he talked to some of the players. What do you think about what Joe Montana just did? It's pretty crazy to me that, that Joe Montana sort of came out and, and, and said these things. It, it seems unnecessary. It seems to be something that the 49ers wish he wouldn't have done. I certainly <laughs> wish that he wouldn't have done it as a fan of both the 49ers and Joe Montana. It's confusing to me. I, I don't understand his motivations for coming out and saying this. What does he have to gain from what amounts to belittling Lance at this point? Well, I mean, I don't think he sees himself as a 49er for life. They traded him. They did. And I think he feels betrayed, ultimately. Uh, they, I think he, he feels he should have been there forever, that Steve Young was never as good as him. And uh, why should he say what they want him to say. Why should he help him help them all the time? Why, why should he not have his own opinion? He's Joe freaking Montana. Right. And I just want to point out that I had him on my channel last year around this time and interviewed him and asked him what he thought the Niners should do. And he said that they needed to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, that the contract they gave him initially was overzealous. That was his word. And that he should go with a young guy. So I think he likes kind of um, uh, shorting the 49ers, betting against them. And you know what? I do too. So I respect Joe as, as one troll to another. I got to say like, that's a plus troll work. I think he was trolling the 49ers like, Oh, uh, cause it just puts more pressure on Kyle and not just, not just Kyle, but Trey too. Like yeah. Joe Montana thinks you're doing the wrong thing. Go get him. It's, it's, it's wild. And it's not the first time that he's done it with regard to Trey, right? He came out and he said after the draft, if I were the 49ers, I would have taken the kid from Alabama last year. Nothing against the guy that they took, right. but a more pro style offense, more used to being in tough situations. So even back <laughs> then, I mean, it, it wasn't intended to be a direct shot at Lance, but it was a shot at Lance and Joe was voicing his opinion. I had that same question in, in my mind as to is this a carryover of post-traumatic stress disorder from Joe Montana because of the way in which his career ended with the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, I have this memory of the, the last minute attempted save that Eddie DeBardlo tried right before Joe was traded to the Chiefs, where he sort of came out, and I may be romanticizing this in my own brain, but I remember as a teenager believing Eddie when he came out and said, Joe, if you want to stay, you can stay and you can be the starter. But it was too late at that point. They had already offended Montana and Montana was convinced he needed to be out the door. I do think he took it personally. I absolutely believe that. And, and that would explain why he doesn't take the 49ers into account when making statements like this. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't see himself as like a 49ers cheerleader the way Steve Young is a lot of the time. Like Steve Young loves the 49ers. I mean, he yes. does a weekly show on KMBR. He he's always kind of giving them advice from like a fatherly perspective, like wanting it to work out because the Niners chose him over Joe Montana. You know, the Niners never traded Steve Young. He retired with the organization, and I think he feels like he does owe it uh, owe them something that Joe Montana doesn't. And I really respect Joe because that's how I feel. Like I don't feel any. I used to feel an attachment to the 49ers when I was a kid, but now I'm like, nah, nah, now I'm not, I, I work for me. That's how Joe feels. Right. And I, I, <laughs> I get it, but I don't agree. I don't necessarily agree with him at all. So no, with that out. No. And I do wonder if he's bringing in some unconscious bias of his own in why he favors Mac Jones over Trey Lance, right? If you look at which one mirrors more closely, his playing style, you could argue that potentially Mac Jones, although I do think that Joe was a, a more mobile quarterback than most would give him credit for, you could see him in his mind's eye seeing Mac Jones as, as more of the prototype of, of who he was and Apparently therefore believing the Niners made a mistake not going that direction. 
yeah, apparently he does look at it that way. Um, I just want to come back like, okay, fine, whatever his bias is, where he's coming from. He goes to Super Bowl media week and sits down and says, Trey isn't ready because he spoke to a couple of players. Dude, that's that's weak. I, Very I love weak. you, Joe, but that's weak, man. You talk to a couple of players. First of all, who? Second of all, why, why are you sure they know what they're talking about? I mean, those guys are players. They're not they're not personnel executives. I mean, a guy plays strong safety. He can evaluate quarterbacks. Or, or I'm not saying strong safety, whatever position. I'm just right. saying, Joe, who'd you talk to? And, and don't you think you should probably go watch for yourself before you say stuff like that? I'm just saying. And, what do you and think? was wasn't that a violation of trust with whomever yes. you spoke to? I could guarantee that when they were talking to Joe Cool, they weren't thinking to themselves, "Oh, this is going to get out to the media, right?" You don't you don't talk no. bad about the the rookie quarterback that's about to take over the franchise. You say nothing but good things to the media. But Joe Montana isn't a member of the media. He's he's an alumni. But now it gets leaked. I don't think Joe's doing any favors to those players he did quote unquote talk to. Yeah, I mean. Now Trey Lance is like, man, there. I have teammates who are talking to right. Joe Montana and telling him I'm not ready. Kyle Shanahan's thinking I have players who are going behind my back to freaking Joe Montana again. It's like I keep trying to put it in uh, Friday Night Lights. Have you watched that show, like High School Texas Football? Imagine you're the, the 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 coach of the team or the the quarterback of some really prestigious high school in Texas and the greatest player ever from that school the quarterback who won multiple national championships just happens to be in town and says they're doing it all wrong like oh thanks <laughs> thanks guy really appreciated that that really helped our program thanks for making things easier on us i mean that's kind of what he did they're doing it all wrong by the way no one asked me but i just wanted to say that good luck inspiring confidence joe